Hi, my name is Sarah Richter. In this video, I'm going to show you the editing possibilities inside the recording room of our Cinema 4D plugin KCA MoCap V2 Basic. First, make sure that the Kinect V2 hardware is properly connected to your computer. I've already done that and I'm using the recording of the previous video, but you can always launch our plugin from within the main menu under Plugins. Uh, KCA Motion Capture V2 Prime, KCA Recording Room V2, and the user interface will open up automatically. Uh, make sure that you uh, are on the right tab, Edit, Select it, okay. We assume that you have already made a motion capture recording with our plugin to work through this video. To make this editing process easier, we recommend that you make a recording where you walk a few steps to the front and then back again before your actual acting begins. The buttons B1, B2 and B3 represent the editing possibilities you can apply on your recorded movements before you apply the smoothing feature. Orange means that the button is active and you will have as many buttons active as the amount of actors you recorded at once. Uh, in my case, I only recorded myself, so only one button is active. Let's click on B1 and inside the Attributes Manager you will see a couple of parameters you can control. Uh, first, let's switch to the side view inside the Editor window. So let's go to cameras and maybe left. Okay. Um, okay, now during a normal walk, we bend one knee at a time, and uh, the hip height correction slider will help us emulate this in our recording. I'm about 1.6 meters tall, which is about 5.2 feet and I usually require a hip height correction value between minus 8 and minus 11 centimeters. Uh, let's go back to frame 0 and let's observe our walk or the few steps we took exactly. So this is a part in the walk where our knee should bend and it should bend more than the minus 2 centimeters. Uh, so maybe like this, so that the walk will not look that stiff anymore. Maybe, a, maybe even a bit less. Something like this. Okay, good. Okay, now we have uh, two sliders, keep ankle on ground tolerance and wrist tolerance. Uh, those sliders help you avoid jittering of the feet and wrists where you don't move those body parts. For example, if you're standing and not moving your feet, or at sequences where you're sitting down and uh, your wrists rest calmly on an armrest, then you need to increase these values. Since you're working native in Cinema 4D, you can animate these values as you are used to by simply setting keyframes. Just right click on the gray square next to the slider and set a keyframe. For example, in our sequence, from about frame 0 to frame 80, our character is not moving its feet. So we can go back to frame 0, increase the Keep ankle on ground tolerance, maybe like this, we're going to exaggerate it a little bit. Right click on it, animation, add keyframe, and let's move to frame 80, and we're going to set again a keyframe, 81, and we can set it back to the default value, which was 1, and set a keyframe again, animation, right click, animation at keyframe. Okay, the last editing option would be smoothing. 
You apply at last because this cannot be undone. If you wish to keep the original recording, now would be a good time to save it. Uh, save as, uh, we can go to volume E and make a new folder, call it Kinect Recording. And we can name this Original Kinect Recording 1. We save it. And now we save it again under a different name. And we're just going to use the extension of Smoothing. And save it again. Okay. We're going to apply smoothing by checking both the body and face and click on go. We recommend you use smoothing in all your recordings because this feature eliminates the natural jittering that comes from the Kinect. If you have made multiple recordings uh, with multiple actors, you need to apply the editing on each skeleton and then the smoothing on each skeleton individually. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Just press play. Yes, and uh, the skeleton moves uh, much more calm now. The jittering is really gone. Okay, those are your editing possibilities inside the recording room. We will take a look at more editing possibilities inside the editing room in another video. Thanks for watching.